the idea that we have uh, here is based on uh, a sensor that we carry around. So, a sensor that would actually record uh, all sorts of information, temperature, altitude, uh, barometer, accelerometer, magnetometer, all sorts of stuff, right? What, name it, and uh, there's, there's a device that we have there uh, that will actually do all this stuff. It's a Bluetooth low energy, the latest one, Bluetooth 4.0 based uh, device, right? So, uh, by using this device and uh, Android device to communicate through Bluetooth Low Energy, we are planning to have uh, a facility for trekkers, travelers, probably anyone, right? Anyone who moves away from his home, so they can, they can keep uh, in loading information uh, to uh, public or to someone they want to inform, right? So, the, the location will be available and the kind of uh, environment they are in, that will be available, what is the temperature there, what what kind of situation are they in, so that can be all accumulated. We, we, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to achieve what we think we can uh, within this time, <coughs> but I believe this can be a good uh, simulation for everything. Uh, we, we want to have something of a pure uh, artificial intelligence perspective wherein Using these uh, sensors and values, it can uh, sensors and locations. It can predict what kind of environment the user is going to be. Right uh, here, we'll be giving some raw information, but uh, later we can have some algorithms that will actually predict data, predict those data, and uh, map it such that it can give you real-time information rather than just numbers. Right. So that's that's the idea that we have that we are trying to implement here today. Hi guys. Uh, uh, so the idea what we got is like uh, uh, Droid I, the project name is Droid I already proposed in the uh, DroidCon uh, uh, portal there. Um, actually the idea is like uh, accessing our mobiles and uh, basically controlling the mobiles through uh, remotely. Uh, the main objective is like um, uh, the growing, <coughs> um, the growing uh, end of the Android and the mobility side. Uh, <coughs> companies like uh, they will be having accessing uh, all these data, like secure data, like email, and all these things. They will be accessing through the mobiles. So it is basically the IT admin can uh, remotely access their mobile, and if at all if come, uh, they come to know some uh, insecure things are going in their mobile end, they can easily able to track it, and easily they can able to lock the device. And if they feel the even more the insecure is going in that particular device, they can able to wipe the data. Um, so, so we can achieve these uh, things by using uh, GCM cloud messaging services and uh, the inbuilt Android um, uh, APIs, what is called like device admin. So that's what we can able to achieve. Okay, basically, my um, idea is to make a circuit analyzer. <laughs> like, uh, as electrical engineers, Many of us solve circuits almost every day, some 100, 200 times. So if you are doing analog signal processing, you actually take a filter and you connect it and connect it to a CRO and then you see the waveforms and it's really painful. So basically this app is just basically you draw a circuit diagram on the app and uh, the app will take the diagram, do all the equation solving and uh, give you the output. That is the voltage between any two nodes and the current through each node. Hey guys, uh, we are on the fun side of the Android apps, like uh, what we want to do is we, we want to design a platform where everyone can use the platform to design their own games. So for that, what initially we will be starting with, we, and the main part is we don't want it, the people to connect to any internet based or anything, like if I have a mobile and my friend has some mobile, both of us should be able to connect to the through their Wi-Fi's and both of our games when whatever claims we are going, we have to play it as a multiplayer games, and we want to provide this as a platform. And the more advanced we we, uh, we want to progress is like uh, it it's not just limited to sing individual uh, remote network. within the same Wi-Fi, and it can be at, at, across different networks. It should be able to connect and it should be able to sync all the games. But you got the point, right? Like 
the thing is to create a <coughs> platform where users can create their own uh, multiplayer games. And <laughs> as a part of this, uh, within this 18 hours, we will be trying to make one uh, simple tic tac toe game where we can sync across the devices. We can sync like two players, two of the players can both <coughs> make a tic tac toe. And we will extend it further uh, based on the time. Right? That's what So basically our idea is to like create a music, uh, music stream app which is going to stream music using Wi-Fi Direct. So something similar to Samsung Group Play, the bad thing is like they have restricted only to S3 and S4 and we don't have it for other devices. And those who have tried it in the market are failures and what we want to do is like not just to Android, we will do it for PC also. You can stream. Uh, uh, music using Wi-Fi from PC to Android, Android to Android, Android to PC, what not. It's like, you are, uh, like you are listening your music <laughs> in your uh, earphones and you enter your home and it starts playing your music in your awesome speakers. That's what you are trying to do. So, we'll see. Hi, uh, my project is like uh, the human information, like uh, glucose level, blood pressure and, uh, and the temperature. Uh, for example, uh, if a person uh, want to know, I mean, uh, if have a, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, the blood, blood pressure is around uh, 80 to 90. I mean, uh, the, the ratio means if it is under the 80 means uh, if under the if, uh, if the result is under 80 means it will show the notification from the globe. Okay, uh, so that uh, we uh, the human has to I mean place this chip. Currently, we don't have any chip. Uh, so we are we are going to present from the server to the Android application. So so I mean, giving the input as a manually and get the I mean, values of the. That's all. Well, happy evening to everyone. And our basic idea is to create a CGPA calculation. And one thing I'm going to tell that I'm the beginner to this field, so we are creating a basic app which will calculate the semester's result percentage using credits and grade systems. Okay, good afternoon. I'm uh, Sleepy Raju. So I have two ideas. Uh, one is kind of funny. I mean, we are all students, so we are starting with uh, you know from fundamental and basic stuff. So one is kind of funny, and the second one is some serious idea. You can you know put a thought into it. Uh, the first one is uh, I start with the funny one. You know, it's I named the app before. I mean, it's spooky. The name of the app is spooky. Uh, what you do is you try to scare the downloaders. I mean, you download the app. You're gonna uh, when he downloads or she downloads, all they're gonna do is you, they have to answer a few questions. It'll be like all. Uh, uh, quiz questions maybe. All they have to do is answer the questions and we'll you know pop up a few scary images at them when they you know click S or no for the question. That's one idea. Uh, you know the second idea is a kind of serious one. You can put it in thought. I mean the second idea is thread call. I mean something like you try to make a thread out of the calls. Uh, we all wanna I mean say you're having a messaging app all we do is we have the history of every uh, message that you had with the person, and if you want to do the same thing for the call, say we have, uh, you know, uh, we talk to a person for a long time and it's recorded and it's stored, and what we do is we we kind of know what we spoke to them earlier, whether we were in a fight with them or we were, you know, in love with them or something else, whatever uh, was there in the history that's been there. So it's more like voice call or something. I mean, it's more like voice mail. All you do is you just ask yourself, you it's you. You just ask whether what is the previous previous message, say one for previous message or previous previous message two something like that. So you'll have all that in uh, you know one uh, voicemail. Uh, that's about it. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Um, so we are a social media company. So I would like to actually build something uh, where. You know, you can manage all your social assets and uh, uh, in, in this 18 hours what we would like to do is to uh, basically schedule your messages to either Facebook or Twitter uh, and uh, we will give a very cool interface where you know you can do it uh, with one single shot, you can schedule both the posts to uh, the Facebook and the Twitter. 
So that is what we are trying to achieve uh, in this idea.